Hi, you guys. I'm feeling a little better today. Day eight. <laughs> okay, so Prince Andrew, um, it seems, really loves his teddy bears. And um, it's, you know, I know you guys are watching the video to find out why I did do a little bit of a deep dive on this to try to figure out, first of all, what the hell was everyone talking about with the teddy bears? And second of all, why would a grown man have such a crazy obsession with teddy bears. So anyway, we're going to get into it now. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you like my channel. And let's do this, teddy bears. If you don't know what I'm talking about with Prince Andrew and the teddy bears, first, it gets called out in this documentary that's done about um, Gillen, Prince Andrew, and Epstein. And it basically is a documentary where they cover like, the different testimonies that are happening in the trial against Gillen, and they then go into the backstory behind, you know, some of the people who are testifying. So they use like the trial against Gillen as like a, a roadmap, and then they kind of elaborate on it as they go. Anyway, in this, <laughs> there is a butler who worked for Andrew, and he actually was indicted in the UK for a crime. They made sure to call that out. Um, but he uh, claims that Prince Andrew was very particular about his teddy bear collection in his home. And I do mean as an adult man. So I'm going to play you the soundbite from this documentary. <laughs> Having Prince Andrew at these dinners. Prince Andrew was a son of the Queen of England. Americans loved that. You know, Jeffrey loved that. Bill Clinton loved that. You said that powerful men came to these dinners, and if women were there, would Prince Andrew have like enjoyed a model that? Socialite. Right. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, he's only a man, and he's male, right? So, I <laughs> so mean, why not sleep? I don't with think anyone could girls. expect him to just be a monk in a monastery, and when he's newly single, I mean, what is he supposed to do? Check their ID. <laughs> Before he dates them. I'm going to meet an insider, Paul Page. He's a former Royal Protection Officer. He worked here at Buckingham Palace for six years. This My is job the is guy. to uh, provide 24 hour a day armed security, to uh, provide 24 hour a day armed security for the Queen and other members of the Royal Family at Buckingham Palace. Paul Page was later jailed for his involvement in a multi million pound property scam. I first met Ghislaine Maxwell, um, I think it was 2001. From the way she was allowed to enter and exit the palace at will, um, we realised, suspected that oh, she is had an intimate relationship with Prince Andrew. Alleging Prince Andrew and Ghislaine had a relationship, in sexual. Four times in one day, from the morning till the evening. She kept coming in and out, in and out. Back then, Paul Page had access to Prince Andrew's private apartments. It had about 50 or 60 stuffed toys positioned on the bed. And basically, there was a, uh, a card the inspector showed us uh, in a drawer, and it's a picture of these bears all in situ on the bed. And the reason for the laminated picture was that it was 60 stuffed toys positioned on the bed. And basically, there was a, uh, a card the inspector showed us uh, in a drawer, and it's a picture of these bears all in situ on the bed. And the reason for the laminated picture was that if he, those bears weren't put back in the right order by the maids, he would shout and scream and become verbally abusive. <laughs> okay, so I had a lot of fun with the bear filters. There are so many more. I'll try to throw one more in before the end of the video. But... Um, uh, uh, another writer actually uh, that interviewed Prince Andrew had a weird experience with a teddy bear and Prince Andrew. And that was that she came in to interview him and in front of his royal apartment was this giant teddy bear. And she asked him about it and he tried to make an excuse about the teddy bear that he had been given it as a wedding present. And it just was still, I guess, sitting there. Um, it was like more for Fergie than for him. And it was still sitting there because they just like never moved it or maybe for sentimental reasons. But the writer found it really weird 
that Prince Andrew thought this was like so funny. Like he was like laughing, oh, 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 oh my teddy bear. And so <laughs> the writer was like, why does this guy think this is so funny? Why do you still have a teddy bear in the front of your royal apartment like years after your wedding? Anyway, <laughs> he was secretly masking, obviously, his alleged love for teddy bears. What can I say? You know, not all of us can talk about it publicly, <laughs> how much we love our teddies. Okay. When you get old, it's not that acceptable. Anyway. Um, oh my goodness. By the way, you guys, can you imagine going back to Prince Andrew's house to like have an intimate night with him and finding like 60 bears on his bed? Like, and you have to like move them aside to like, have you know what I'm saying? Be adults together. Like, oh my goodness. It's so strange. So then a maid also collaborate, uh, collaborated, corroborated. Oh my God, COVID. COVID brain corroborated the story um, of the security, the royal security guard who said he was given a photo and had to make sure the bears were arranged properly or he would get yelled at by the prince as an adult male. Also, it was reported that Prince Andrew's former maid revealed that one of the oddest parts of her job was spending hours every day arranging his collection of 72 teddy bears. Uh, her name was Charlotte Briggs, and she worked at Buckingham Palace in the 1990s, and she told the, the son that she was tasked with the process of meticulously putting the stuffed animals in their place on the royal's bed and around his room. And she said, as soon as I get the job, I was told about the teddies and it was drilled into me how he wanted them. I even had a day of training. Everything had to be just right. It was so peculiar. So like he knows if his teddies have been messed with, if they're out of sync, maybe he gives them characters, like roles that they have to play in his imaginary um game that he plays in his head. <laughs> okay, wait, there's so more. So joking aside, I think that uh, a lot of people who collect teddy bears and dolls and things as adults, I being one of them, I'm making fun of him, but I love Barbies. So what can I tell you? Um, uh, the reason that adults do it is because it's a, it has a sentimental value for the adult. It means it goes back to an, a more innocent time in their mind of like a happy time. Uh, something that gives them, you know, a peace, like a, it gives them like a kind of like a childhood joy that they can't really tap very easily. And I do think that um, that's why Prince Andrew does it, because he did say in a 2010 interview um, that, quote, I've always collected teddy bears everywhere I went in the Navy. I used to buy a little teddy bear. So I've got a collection from all over the world of one sort or another. So obviously he found some peace in these teddies. So for me, the reason I collect Barbies is because before my mom died in a car accident, she actually used to get me a doll every year for Christmas. And it's so, I used to collect dolls to kind of, I don't know, get close to my mom, even though I was an adult and, it made me feel that kind of joy that I think probably died when she died, you know? And so maybe Prince Andrew, you know, was using teddies in a way to get through the anxiety of being in the Navy or traveling to all these foreign places out of his comfort level. Maybe he felt that, you know, in danger or unsafe. Maybe he felt like that a lot of his life. And so the teddy bears gave him some sort of ability to, you know, feel okay and safe. I do think it's not probably a good idea to keep him in his apartment on his bed anymore. It's time to let them maybe go in a storage case in one of the parts of like the palace. Like, you know, you can do that. Like he could have a collection, teddy collection room, you know. It's definitely, um, he's holding on to something probably, I would imagine that he needs to address probably like me i probably should go to counseling and not collect barbies right um okay so anyway uh needless to say that is uh, the scoop with the teddy collection uh the teddy bears but uh, anyway to be fair i don't really understand why the documentary chose to bring in in their discussion about how we might have had an affair with Gillen, the teddy bears being on his bed and a big thing for him <laughs> It's just sort of random to have that be in the interview about, you know, him being involved with claims of um, 
having sexual relations with young girls. But it is, it's there and I can't ignore it. And so we have to talk about it and I'll leave it there. I just wonder what you think about the bears and how it ties into Galen. And I don't know. <laughs> I mean, poor teddy bear, right? He didn't want to get dragged into this mess. You guys, enough bear talks. I hope it puts you in a good mood. <laughs> if you like my channel, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And uh, send me gossip on Instagram, Wilkie underscore Dana. Um, also, please join the Patreon and be part of our community. We have so much fun in there. Um, the podcast is in there, and my Reddit stuff is all in there. It's very, it's fun. And also, if you message me in there, it is me who answers. So you can also talk to me. You can ask the members. I talk all the time when they reach out to me. Um, so yeah, it's fun because we get to gossip and talk in a lot of different ways, share a lot of information in different ways too. All right, guys. Hey guys, enough bear talks. I hope it puts you in a good mood. <laughs> If you like my channel, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And uh, send me gossip on Instagram, Wilkie underscore Dana. Um, also, please join the Patreon and be part of our community. We have so much fun in there. Um, the podcast is in there, and my Reddit stuff is all in there. It's very, it's fun. And also, if you message me in there, it is me who answers. So you can also talk to me. You can ask the members. I talk all the time when they reach out to me. Um, so yeah, it's fun because we get to gossip and talk in a lot of different ways, share a lot of information in different ways too. All right, guys. <laughs>